If this then that has been a cornerstone when it comes to connecting homes and internet services for over 10 years now and it's always been free. However, there are some new changes to the service and that includes a subscription plan for premier features, limitations to free accounts and many other things that are coming. What does this mean for you and the service in general? Let's get going. I always think it's important to sit down with the people who are actually running something or they're actually directly in charge of a major project. And so I was really lucky this week to sit down with Lyndon Tibbetts, the CEO of If This Then That. And this allowed me to get to the bottom of what was going on, what they're thinking and where they're headed. But before we go into that, I think it's important to talk about what has changed on the platform. It, that's kind of the easy part of this conversation. Now, today when you go and you register a new account, you're going to be presented with two options. You can go with a free account or a new pro account. The free account has basically two features listed on it. The ability to create three applets for yourself and then the ability to enact or enable unlimited pre-created applets that are available on the service today. Now I'm going to talk in a little bit about where those applets are going to come from and how that whole ecosystem is changing a bit here but the Pro option comes with a number of additional features and the first thing you're going to notice is it's not free and today it's a pay what you want thing but it has a minimum of two dollars a month and while it says ten dollars a month as the eventual price after a year I'm not sure that that's what's going to come out now this is not something that anyone from if this then that told me during our conversations but I just get the sense that maybe that number is not so final now that that pro plan it includes an incredible conditional capability and actually something that I haven't really seen on many other platforms available today this conditional capability is actually very deep and it is actually meant for pro users on top of that pro users are going to be able to create as many applets as they want and they're going to get faster execution time and that that's a hard thing to quantify right now for me just just in a quick conversation here but I'll tell you towards the end of the video how to get more details on that and on top of that you're also going to get direct customer support as a pro user so in terms of comparing what if this then that used to do versus what it does today well for the free user which was all of us yesterday well you can no longer create the unlimited number of applets you have this limitation but through my conversation with Lyndon I learned where the company was headed and how it was envisioned in general just as a company and what they're trying to solve with this move to a pro platform and what will come to not just the pro users but the entire platform as we go forward and the funny thing is I think it makes sense see Today and in previous videos about If This Then That, I've had one real complaint about the service and that is the reliability of it. The reliability of applets that I would go and create with the service and instead have oftentimes turned to a smart home hub that maybe doesn't have all of the connectivity that If This Then That does, but I feel like it's got the reliability and what I need. But I can tell that there's like a multi-stage plan behind the scenes here and without Lyndon going totally into every bit of detail in our conversation, I did get the sense that the ecosystem is being built like this. A company or a pro user can create an applet. They can then publish that same applet and there will be an ecosystem of both feedback to the companies from general users and the pro user community as well as a way for you and I to tell how good an applet is performing and how well it's being received by the overall user community. What's more is companies are already taking this feedback today and making improvements on their applets and their service in general. What this means for you and I, well, even at a free account level here on If This Then That, you're going to be able to tell how reliable an applet is before 
attaching your connected services to it. And on top of that, the pro user community plus all the companies can already create applets and will be able to create more applets with new tools that are being developed by If This Then That all with the revenue coming from this subscription model. I've also learned that there's a pretty good feature set being prioritized at the moment to be developed by the If This Then That team and then deployed either to pro or basic users here. Now, the features, I mean, I was given a couple of great examples here and these are things that even the smart home hubs sometimes can't do and they don't even do well. So if, if this then that can go and implement these things, it'd be a pretty big benefit. And the first one Lyndon talked about was just the ability to wait after a trigger event or a conditional event occurs, you trigger something after a wait period. And the other thing was, I mean, <laughs> Ask Google to do this one and you'll just get back a confused look. But turning something off 30 minutes after you've turned it on or a set time period after you've turned it on. Despite this, there is a still a few things that bothered me. I mean, if this then that has to make sure users keep coming in, they keep using the services, and they have to make sure that companies keep coming in. And as I started to ask questions about this, I got the whole to ya smart life and if this then that situation explained in just a moment. If this then that, they only charge $200. It doesn't matter what size of company you are, but that's the entire cost for bringing your service on to if this then that and giving access to the pro user community and the other companies on there to go and create applets as well as the basic users with their three applets. And Tuya was never not going to do that. What they were actually doing was discussing at a deeper level whether they were gonna head down on a, a more complex path to build greater functionality between Tuya and if this then that. So funny story, the entire situation boils down to some people saying some things they shouldn't have online and making assumptions before the situation was actually handled. Anyway, so being at $200, there's not a lot of companies that aren't going to take advantage of that. And we might still have some of those bigger companies just not do it for their own ecosystem reasons, but that's a separate discussion that I've already had on the channel. What I also found out though, was that if this then that is actually powering things in a really different sort of way. And iRobot was the example given by Lyndon. And when he gave this example, what he actually showed me was that in the iRobot application, there's integrations in there that they suggest or they say, you know what, if you want to do this kind of thing, here's how you do it. And it's a couple of taps in the application and suddenly you've connected your iRobot vacuum to another service. But what's powering that is if this then that. So not only are they creating integrations in kind of this, as Lyndon put it, PayPal way, well, they're actually bringing users into the system in that method because this starts the path into if this then that and connecting that same iRobot to a number of other services using other applets. So what I learned through this conversation is more reliability is coming, more applets, more features, and really more companies are coming in than are leaving. And it's hard to point at a real gap if all of those things come together here with if this then that. It starts to line up with a lot of smart home hubs and the only difference is it is cloud connected. But if reliability really does come up with the platform and we can all use this, then it becomes a pretty powerful tool. We have to watch this one together, but honestly, what I've been able to give you in this video is probably a third of what I learned in my conversation with Lyndon. I actually made that interview fully available here on the channel. You can go watch that now. It's an incredible watch and I promise you're gonna learn a lot that you're just gonna go, oh my gosh, that's great. So go check that out. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.